Hi there. My name is Byron Langley. I am a South African living in Cape Town, and this is my story. My life started out very different to most, mainly because I was born a tadpole. You probably thought there was a sperm cell, didn't you? <laughs> well, you were wrong. Being born a tadpole has its challenges. The relationship with my mother was probably the hardest to deal with, kind of because she hopped out the pond seconds after I was born, and I never saw her again. Being the curious little blighter that I am, I was soon exploring all over the pond and finally land, as soon as my back legs grew, of course. One of the first places I stumbled upon was a small bakery. Ha! Look at that! A bakery! To my luck, there was a packet of self-raising flour that did the job my mother couldn't. The self-raising flour taught me many morals and lessons, like respecting your elders and to never bring a knife to a gunfight. I was forever grateful to that packet of flour. I think it ended up being made into a lamington or something. School was difficult for me. Most kids thought I was the class experiment. I was forever grateful towards the teachers for stopping my dissections in time, however, I thought it was pretty unfair I had to dissect other frogs. Like, come on. When I was 11, I got a letter in the mail to go to a school called Frogwarts. Magic wasn't really my vibe, though. I probably should have taken up the offer. School didn't last long for me, considering most of the stationery was twice my size and uh, I couldn't even see over the desk. Before I knew it, my life was crashing around me. With no education and no one to turn to, I had no choice but to put myself forward for animal testing. The first product I helped make was a woman's deodorant that lasted 48 hours. I didn't know people waited two days to shower, but at least I had accomplished something. The guys at the lab were so impressed they threw a party for me, and it was merry, and we had fun. It wasn't long before I was promoted and put forward as a transfer to England, a place where the sun doesn't stop shining and the rain is a myth. Or is it the sun is a myth and the rain doesn't stop sh shining? Uh, never mind. As great as work was, my body was falling apart. I didn't think I could handle another radioactive experiment. Before my last limb fell off, I thought it was finally time to retire. Getting around became difficult. I definitely took my arms and leg for granted. Then something magical happened. Not even frogwarts could compare. Whilst waiting for a bus, a child explained to me that England had a royal family, and if I asked the princess nicely enough, she would give me a kiss which would turn me into a man. With much excitement and glee, the child took me to Buckingham Palace, where the royal family was showing off yet another baby. Meters from the front of the crowd, a French tourist couldn't help himself and tried to eat the last of my poor limbs. Seriously, dude, what a dick. With a throw that would make Jimmy Anderson impressed, I was launched towards the royal balcony and hit the princess right in the lips. Instantaneously, I turned into a human. I couldn't believe it. The guards, however, didn't take kindly to a naked man appearing suddenly in front of their beloved royalty, and I was handcuffed and sent to the dungeons. Which is where I draw this from. Please, help a brother out and explain to the British government that I wasn't in fact a loony nudist, but rather a tadpole finding his feet. The end. Thank you.